Have you ever heard of color art primary elements? Well, if you haven't, you're about to in three, two, Hey guys, welcome to Michelle's Art Adventure. I'm Michelle, and this is my trusty sidekick, Bun Bun. So today we're doing something really awesome. I got a message from Scout Hars on my last video asking about my experience with color art primary elements. If you haven't heard of color art primary elements before, they are these gorgeous pigments created by Leslie Onstad. You mix these pigments with a medium such as the Vivid Polypore medium, which is made by Color Art, and that's how you create your paint. I believe you can also mix the primary elements with other pouring mediums, but today we're going to be using the Vivid Polypore. So Scout has been having some issues with the primary elements paint flowing off of the canvas during Dutch pours. What about you guys? Has anyone else out there had a similar experience? Today, we're going to be trying out the primary elements and see if we can figure this out. I'm going to do one Dutch pour with only primary elements, and then I'm going to do a second Dutch pour with a mix of other acrylic paints with the primary elements as more of an embellishment. As always, I'll write out the colors as well as the recipe mix that I'm using in the description below. Hey, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'm on there a lot, so you can message me on there and check out what I'm up to. Okay guys, let's get to it.
Welcome back, guys. Well, that was something. Do I look tired? Now, keep in mind that I'm still trying to learn how to get my consistencies right for Dutch pours in the first place. And also keep in mind that I don't have a large range of primary elements to work with. I don't think I necessarily would have chosen this exact color palette to use in a painting, but I was just working with what I had. I think what I learned from this adventure is that the primary elements work much better when used with other paints as a kind of beautiful sparkly embellishment because I mean this paint is really sparkly and gorgeous. When the primary elements are used on their own, at least when I was using them, they do seem a little runnier. That ends up creating like this cool dreamy effect, so I am excited to see those paintings once they dry. I'll post pictures of the dried results on my Instagram, so you can check those out there and leave me a comment and let me know what you think. So Scout, if you're out there watching, I don't know if this helped you very much. It definitely did make for an exciting adventure. I'm not going to give up though. I really want to make these beautiful paints work, so I am going to keep experimenting with them. For all of the other adventurers out there, Please, if you have any tips or pointers about how to work with primary elements or what I was doing wrong in this video, let me know. If you at least got a kick out of this video or you did actually like it, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do. It helps support my channel and you won't miss any future adventures. So until our next adventure, so long.